whichever way works, but we are trying to bring the heart rate up. Otherwise, the body won't know that it's exercise time and I have to go to the, the fat zone to get the fat zone activated, then to melt it. Very good, very good. Good job, good job. Now, real quickly, give me 10 jumping jacks. You can go single legs or you can go double leg. Can you see me? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, make it count. Make it count. Ten. Last ten. Make it count. Come on, you're here for a reason. Make it count. Make it count. And the count is last five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Very good. Take a deep breath in. And I want to blow it out. This time with your mouth, making a big ha sound. Ha. One more time, deep breath in. Ha. Very good. Now, we're going to do a sumo squat. Remember, sumo squat is, this is hip width apart. But in sumo squat, we go more than hip width apart and our feet are facing outside. And we bend. As if there is a string attached on our head and we go slowly down. We go slowly down. So see, this is the position of a sumo squat. And then we come up, come back up. Ready? Let's do just the legs. Your hands are on your waist. One, two. When you go down, you have to feel it here. If not, then when you go down, move your knees at the back. Come up, come down, move your knees back and come up. Come down, move your knees back, come up. Down, knees back, come up. Six, knees back, come up. Seven, knees back, come up. Eight, knees back, come up. We have to start being aggressive and making little changes and start listening to my cue because I do it the right way. So that way, you know what, it gets effective. If it's not effective, then we're wasting our time. Very good. You got this normal one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do, imagine there's bicep. We're going to go like this. We're going to go quick 10 ones. Okay, try to do quick. So we start here. I'm feeling the stretch here. And then go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold this up. Very good. Now go down. Go down. Give me ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come up. Anytime, anything we do three times. Please understand this. First set is for the body to register, that muscle to register. Second set, it is helping us burn. But it is the third set, which is where we see the change. So please remember that. It is the third set is, is the set when you get very tired, but that is where you will see a change. Okay, now, ready? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do butt kicks. We're going to kick our butt. We're going to go front two and come back on the yoga mat and kick two. Front two and back two. What are our arms going to do? Arms are going to go up, down, up, down. And then you go back. Ready? But we're going to do a little quickly. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come back on the yoga mat and let's do it real quickly. One, stay there only. Two, three, four. No more going front and back. Five. But making sure legs are completely trying to touch your butt. Eight, nine, ten, 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 nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Very good, very good. Give me a little run, a soft run. Don't stop, don't stop. Once the heart rate dro drops, then what happens? 
to be able to go back to square one. We still, muscle is a memory, right? So we need to remind them that, no, 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 I'm still working out and I'm still burning my calories. While you are doing this, I'm going to show you the next step. Arms are like this and all we are doing is going like this, face. So not too far away, just hip width apart. We're working on our obliques. So ready? Cross your hands like this and then go left, up, right, up. Left, up, right, up. Three left, right, four left, right, five left, right. Now a little more slower. Six left, right, little more, little more lower. Seven, bend your knees. Eight, seven, eight, eight. Bend your knees. Nine, go a little more lower. Ten, eleven, eleven, twelve. Can you see me properly? See how I'm doing it? Twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, stomach in. Stomach in. Now I can go still furthermore. See, my, now my body's warmed up. Give me five more. Very nice. Good job. Are you feeling it on your obliques? Last two. And last. Last one. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Very good, very good. Good job, good job. Now, Remember, anything you do, it's a mental game. So stick with it, okay? Now remember you guys like that skaters with doing garba, keka, keka step, I call it keka step because she does it very gracefully. I don't know whether she's here or not, but let's do keka step. That is called? I'm here, Preeti. Oh, okay, sk skater. So we are doing skater steps. Only thing is we are going to go a little faster. One. Two, three, the lower you go, the better. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Hands up, go higher up. Throw your clap. Throw your clap. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, only five more. 15, last five, last four, last three, last two, last one. Now, go on one side. You know how many you're gonna throw? Go on one side, stay there with your skater step. Imagine you're doing a garba. So stay there and now give me, give me 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very slow, very slow. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold it, don't go. Bend it, bend it, hold it. Stay there, stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come up. Opposite side, opposite side. Ready? Remember, this is where you will see the change. What we did, the garpa part, was just warming up. So ready? Let's go. One, two, shoulders back, four, tummy in, tummy in, five, six, seven, very good child, eight, nine, 10, now stay down, stay down, don't move. Don't need to move. Just concentrate and push that tummy in. That's it. You're down, legs are already understanding that. Glutes tight and tummy in. One, two, three. Don't give up, don't give up. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Remember, no one can push you. Only you can push yourself. So today's mantra, no one can push you. If you want to work out, you want to see results, you got to push yourself. Very good. Now, what are we going to do is one more oblique. For that, we're going to squat. Come back in your, in your squat position. So squat position, legs are facing front. We're here, I'm holding a ball. I'm holding a ball and I'm going on my left side, coming back. My whole body is not going. My shoulders are facing straight. I have the ball. I'm still looking straight. Only my arms are going, coming back, right, coming back. Ready, everybody? Ready? One, two, I mean, right, left, right, left. Try not to bend your elbows also. We are training our elbows to be straight. So if you don't bend it, all the muscles are working. And when all the muscles work, what happens? Our hands get leaner. Five, right, six, left, seven, left, right, eight, left, eight, right, nine, left, nine. Don't let go of the leg. It's not about the arm work. It's about the leg work also. So don't let go of the leg. Ten, very good. Now let go of the ball. Let go of the ball. You're squatting. Now, your ball is right here in the front now. Now, you're, you're bending your knees. Look at me. My knees are bent and I'm holding the ball outside. See how I'm, my roots are going back? Now, all I'm doing is taking the ball up, bringing the ball in the center. Taking the ball up, bringing it in the center. So, legs are back, knees are bent, ready, go. Up, down, three, Four, five, six, seven. Tuck your tummy in. Eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Last nine. Last eight, seven. Head doesn't go. Head looks up. Look up, otherwise you'll get dizzy. Head is just right there, looking in the center. Don't look down, okay? Last five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back up. Ah, roll your shoulders. Very good, very good. Now, sumo squat, coming down. Arms are there, and let's give a circle. So, once you get here, first figure out your stretch. Is your leg stretching or not? It has to be enough where you can feel your inner thigh. Once that position is done, stay there. Now send your mind over here, because we're going to lean our arms. So we're going to do nice medium circles. Ready? Go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come back up. Loosen it up. Relax. We're going to go in the same position in a reverse way. So let's go back again. Back again. Feel that stretch because I really want to lean this part up. So feel the stretch. Spine is straight. Arms are out. And we go reverse. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Stay there. Don't come up. Don't come up now. Arms are like this. And all I'm doing is going this down. So for that, for that, wait here. This is there. This is God. This is When arms come up, squeeze the shoulder blade. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Arms are not here. I now squeeze the shoulder blades. So if you feel the shoulder blades squeezing, stay there. Now let's go up. The camera moves. See how my elbow is in L shape. I move like this L shape. Now go down, up, down, up, down, up. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, two, and one. Because I missed one. Now, if you need to come up, come up. Anybody having knee problem can bend, cannot bend. Only those people can stand straight, but make sure you tighten this up. But if you can really bend and you want result, then don't use a shortcut. Easy to get a shortcut, but no. Only for people who cannot bend. So again, this is my fourth class today. So I want a lot of inspiration from you guys that yes, we can do it. I'm controlling your, our mind. You are in charge of your mind. Ready? I'm bending, I'm making sure that my inner thigh is stretched. I'm making sure my shoulder blades are squeezed. And then, now, what I'm doing is I'm going in, out. Two, three, see how, how slowly I'm going? I don't know, lady in purple, your elbow needs to be up. You are going like this, it's not like this. First see, look at this. First get, guys, your shape is not right. Yes. Keka, your shape is perfect. I don't know all the names, but now go in, out. See, our shoulders are up. Now your hands like this. Now go in, out. See how my forearm is glued till my elbow. It's totally glued. And then all, I'm leaning in the front. My right leg is at the back. I'm looking straight front. My shoulders are square. And all I'm doing is only moving my forearm and stay there till I don't say come in the front. Okay, so up, back, stay there. So you have to count two counts. One, two, and then come in the front. Ready? So. Back, one, two, up. Back, one, two, up. Back, one, two, up. So when you're at the back, stretch it. Pull it very tight. Up. And you're leaning forward. Back, one, two, up. 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 Now slowly stay here. Move your, shift your leg. Now the right leg goes in the front, left leg goes back. So it's like this and we go fast. But again, keeping the back straight, pull. If you want to see a change here, you need to pull this. So ready, back, one, two, up. Back, one, two, up. Stick your stomach in, up. Back, one, two, 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 up. Up, back, one, two, up. Back, one, two, up. Back, one, two, up. See, are you feeling the difference? Next time we'll use a weight, weights, next time. Back, one, two, up. Now, now stay back, stay back. Bring both the legs in the front. Legs are in the front. And you're bending down, leaning forward. Arms are at the back straight. It's hurting, it should be in pain. Now from there, there, right here, above your glute. Now just straight up, hands go back. Straight up and down. Up, down, up, down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, nine. Eight, five, six. Oh my God. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Let go. Let go. Good job. Good job. So let's do a little bit of Surya Namaskar. So we will do one set of Surya Namaskar. 
Everybody come at the edge of your, in the front of your mat. I'm going to be, I'm going to face it like this. Position number one is Namaste. Bend a little bit of your knees. Position number two is both hands up, touching your ear lobes. Look at, look at back, looking back. One, two, three, four, five. Now, now, this is the part where we are going to be able to do this part again and again. So pay attention. So now you're coming in the front, but you're coming in the front, bend your knees, bend your knees, come in the front, come there, and then go around and bring your hand and bring your hands and touch your shin. Bending your knees, bending your knees and touching your shin and your nose towards your, looking towards your knees. Okay, so it's going to look like this. You can touch your calf also. If you can reach to your calf muscle, like reach to your calf muscle, your knees are bent and your nose are facing your, the nose is facing the knee. So ready, please come back up. Quickly. The first and the second step, we will go fast. The third step, which I taught you, will go a little slow to master it. Ready? Namaste. Position two. Bend and look up. Position three, now pay attention. You're going slow, slow in the front. Bending the knees and then either holding the shin or touching the calf and your nose is towards the knees. Come back up. One more time, little faster. Namaste. So inhale is namaste. Exhale, looking back up. Now inhale. Come in the front, come in the front, inhale, hold your breath, touch your calf muscle. Very good. Now, now let go of your breath and look. Now the third position is letting go and it's coming here on the right leg, looking straight. Bend your knee, bend your knee and look straight. Did everybody get that? And then, then let go of the left leg and come on up in a plank. Remember the plank we did? We went like this, like this. We, we are getting used. Is everybody doing it or is it hard? I can't see. You know what? We stop at plank. So the lady in the blue, your plank, you need to come down, way down. I don't know. I, I can't see. It has to be like a flat board. So this is how the this is how plank will look. See, first my knees are straight, and your arms are here, right here, underneath your shoulder. And then I get up, jump, curl up your legs, and see how straight I go. Go like this, and then go back. So to make sure that you are straight, not like this. If you're like this. Come back in the front and become straight. Very good, good, perfect. Straight. And now, go to downward dog. So walk your leg in, walk your leg in, downward dog. Come back to the plank, come back to the plank, plank. Is everybody in the plank? After plank, go to downward dog. All we are doing is plank and downward dog. Downward dog. Come back to the plank. Straight line. Back is straight. And come back. Go to downward dog. Plank. Downward dog. Plank. Downward dog. Plank. Downward dog. Plank. Plank, downward dog, very good, very good, good job, good job. Now, before we collect everything and do it together, 
let's do chaturanga and uh, cobra pose so for chaturanga remember you are like this make sure your knees are there and all you do is come down come down once you come down press your knees so that do not skip your lift up your stomach that's all you do is lifting up your stomach and then this is your cobra this is how you do cobra like this i wish it was in a personal then i can teach you much better with zoom it's very difficult to do it so knees we're doing chaturanga so knees and then you go your chin touching your mat your elbows are facing up stomach is up and then now let go straight legs and slowly come up if you can come up this much that's fine too slowly come up that's it how about this let's do the cobra pose for five times jenny can you bring the computer a little closer so i'll do the cobra pose and we all do cobra pose for five times let's master it so hands are on the side so hands are on the side and then all i'm doing is coming up then again i'm down i am down and try to touch your chin on the mat so let's get practice of that chin on the mat deep breath in and exhale come up very good again deep breath in exhale come up deep breath in exhale come up deep breath in exhale come up last time deep breath in exhale come up very good very good so i'm going to show it to you see how it's done when we come down right leg is in the front i'm sorry left leg is in the front right leg on the bottom straight this is our position number 4 and then right leg goes back bend your knees bend your knees curl your leg come up this is the plank remember we did plank and then we did downward dog and then now i'm putting my knees down and i'm touching my chin and then at my arms and then cobra remember we did this touching the chin and cobra and then curl your leg up again and then downward dog bring your leg carry your left leg in the front carry it right left leg in the, i'm sorry right leg front left leg touching and look i'm looking straight front or you can look up now what we do is curl this leg bring this leg close to your right leg and when i'm doing that i'm holding my calf and i'm bending and my nose is facing my knees and then slowly see how i'm going up slowly and you come up okay so we start with hold surya namaskar ready everybody one time right and one time left ready namaste deep breath in this is a deep breath in breathe out arms up breathe in see you're going slowly holding your calf and down and now breathe out right leg goes back and the knee touches the mat looking front and then breathe in another leg and we go to the plank after plank what we do is we do chaturanga so come down knees are down and all i'm doing is touching my chin to the mat and then cobra coming up see and then hold your legs again downward dog right leg in the front left knee down looking straight 
Left knee meets the right knee. Down. And holding the calf. And then slowly come on up, back again, up. And then hooking back. And then let it go. Now we will do the left leg. First position, namaste. Second position, in. Breathe out. See how I'm going, and hold your breath over there. This time, left leg back, right leg in the front, left knee touching. Looking straight front. Straight front. Now right leg go back and you're into a plank. After plank, after plank, rest your knees. Flatten your toes. Come on in the front. Stomach up. And chin is rested and then all you do is this. Then bring your toes back up again. Walk, walk it for your Downward dog, left leg front, hold it and bring it in the front. Right leg rested, and then both the legs together. Holding your calf muscle, slowly coming back up, looking back, and namaste. Very good, good job. Let's quickly do our Chakki Asan and Nokasan. So everybody sit down. First we'll start with Chakki Asan. Spine is straight. Big toes are connected. Big toes are connected. I'm facing towards my right side. And here we go. One. Two. Three. Try not to bend your elbows. Four, five, six, seven. Little further more back. Eight, nine. It's your workout, your result. Whatever you put in, that's the only result you will get. Nobody's watching you, nobody's comparing you. So it is your honesty. Now stop back. We face the left side and we go left circle. One, two, give your 100%. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, very good. You know what? Give yourself a hug. And let's go like this and then stretch it out. Stomach in and come back in. Again, going up. Come back in. So, what I'm deciding is from today, the first class, till our week's last class, which is Friday in America and Saturday in um, India. I'm going to give up gluten. I'm not going to eat um, wheat. So if anybody wants to join me, jump in so that we can start seeing a little more result. So now we do our rowing. Again, my thumbs are connected. My thighs are glued to each other and my, my spine is straight. And this is my rowing. And I'm going to row by scraping and then I'm going to come up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull a tiny bit back. Seven. You'll be surprised at how back you can go. Eight, nine. Even if it is half an inch. Ten. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we will go the opposite way. So opposite ways I'm coming here, scraping it, and then I'm bringing it back. Ready? One, two, 
three, four, beautiful, five, very good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, that's it, five more, four more, little more back, three more, and two, and the last one, finish it, finish it, finish it, very good, good job, good job. So let's come to butterfly. And this time when we come to butterfly, hold your thumbs, your toe, big toe, and then, or your fingers and push it back. Push it back and you say, oh, I feel that stretch. That's where you see the result. Because if you keep on going like this, uh-uh, push it back. It should feel uncomfortable. Are you uncomfortable? If not, push it further more back. Spine straight and let's go. While you're doing this, I have to give a big shout out to Sarita Ji. I don't know whether she is in the class today or not, but Sarita Ji, remember we did that six day challenge and I had asked you to give up some something. Sarita Ji gave up gluten and she still has not kept eating gluten and she already lost five pounds, which is fantastic. So big shout out to Sarita Ji. So it is all up to us and it is our mind game whether we want to make a change or not. Go fast, go fast, 10. As I, as I say, and I'm, I'm working on it, is all about concentration. So I came up with the three things, three C's. First of all, commitment. If you're not committed, you cannot see result. No matter what you go, you can ask Google, hey, how do I lose weight, blah, blah, blah. There should be a commitment. If there is no commitment, there is no results for anything, correct? You committed to become a mother and look at what a fantastic job you did as a wife, as a sister, as a mother, as a daughter. So commitment. After commitment comes consistency. Being consistent. You committed, okay, I'll do it. But if you're not consistent, what good is commitment to? And the third, my favorite one is concentration. So what I have decided that when I'm taking a, start with taking a shower. When you take a shower, very good. Let it go, legs straight on top and stretch it. So bring your knee towards this way. So when you take a shower, you want to see how, what is, what is concentration called? All I want you to do is take a shower, concentrate on that water and feel that water. And if you can thoroughly throughout the shower, feel the water of the shower, that means you are ready to concentrate. We will never be able to do change a proper meditation because we are all multitasking. And if you're multitasking, our mind suddenly cannot say, okay, now concentrate for meditation. No, the mind is not geared like that. So let's start doing slowly, slowly things to concentrate. So for concentration, I want you to, when you take a shower, concentrate on your shower. When you're brushing your teeth, just two things right now. We'll keep on adding. Concentrate on brushing. If your thought comes, no, wait. Don't, I'm not going to think about it. I just want to brush my teeth and concentrate on my brushing. Anyways, today I had promised you that I'm going to explain you about pranayam. What a beautiful explanation. So remember when I say, oh, in pranayam, that, oh, we are releasing our pranas, experience that. So basically, pranayam is, what is pranayam? Pranayam is the control and the regu to regulate our breath. Our breath is pranas. So how do we control and regulate our breath? I'll explain you that. All the functions of all of our body, if you think about it, is directly or indirectly controlled by our breath. You know, when we are constipated, we're using our breath. When we are angry, when we are hyperventilated, the breath goes fast. 
And when we are calm, just watching a movie, does anything happen to the breath? The breath is normal. You're not even paying attention to the breath when we are watching movie or reading a book, right? So it is, it is all about the breath game. So once we slowly start managing, controlling our breath through pranayam, automatically the concentration will increase and we'll be having more power to concentrate. Pranayam has the capacity, the breathing, our breathing pranayam has the capacity to free our mind from unpleasant thoughts, unpleasant people, painful thoughts, everything. And what will happen if pranayam, see when we do pranayam, if you have you noticed your thoughts have stopped, you're too busy doing basrika <laughs> or you're too busy doing, doing kapalpati. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think that there is no thoughts going on. That's it. That's meditation. That is dhyana. Anything you do, whether you're brushing your teeth, whether you're taking a shower and you're not having any kind of thoughts, but experiencing being in the present of that, enjoying that cold or warm water coming on you, that is meditation. That's dhyana. It is so beautifully said. I'm just going to read it to you. Prana just does not mean breathing in, keeping the breath, air in, and exhaling. It means to control on the entire breathing process. That is what we are doing. We are controlling the entire breathing process. And is it easy? Is pranayam easy? Is meditation easy? I think the example what I would think about is for, let's say you're in a circus, in the ringmaster. Can a ringmaster tame a tiger or a lion just like that? He's bloody shit scared. He's shit scared. And it takes years and years of practice and commitment, finding a friend in that tiger, in that lion, making him comfortable, making him secure to train him. The same way, the same way. If you don't get the pranayam, you don't get ujjayi breath, you don't get it slowly, it will, you, it will come. But again, going back to the three C's which I created, commitment, consistency and and concentration. So let's start with our pranayam. We will start with our ujjayi breath. Hands underneath. underneath. This doesn't play any role, but there are three ways to do it. I think one is this, one is this, and one is this. So I decided I'm only going to introduce you to this and we'll stick to that. So hands underneath your arms. Remember, breathing is from the base of the throat. Breathe in four, hold four, and out six, hold two, and then we start again. Ready? Normal deep breath in and out with a big smile. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm so sorry. Sorry. You know what? Every time you try to breathe, try 99% to breathe through your nose. Not through, not breathe out through your nose also, not through your mouth. Sometimes I do tell you to breathe out through your mouth. Why? Because the breathing in and out of your nose is the filter. Nose is our filter, right? So it, fil it filters all the dust and the bad things in, a, in the air. So please try always to breathe in and out through your nose. Sorry. Let's go. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Ready? Ujjayi breath in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, I mean, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, out, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, make the sound of your throat, 
in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two last time in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two ready let it go now we come to basrika you can sit in vajrasan or you can sit with cross leg also soft fist and we go up open up the fist and bringing it down with forceful breathing from your nose concentration is only on breathing out releasing it so every time you go up and out try to see if you can say om in your mind only so that way you're stopping blocking everything and sticking concentrating only on one mantra normal deep breath in when i say fast if you can please go fast don't forget to drink a lot of water deep breath in normal and normal breathe out ready go faster 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 and let it go open your arms on your lap just observe the prana ready for the second set soft fist eyes are closed normal breathe in and out ready go deep breath in faster and let it go now let's do kapalbhati kapalbhati we are going to do with you guys all know about kapalbhati it helps you with your energy with your immunity everything so now what let's do is we take our ring finger and our uh pinky together and our thumb like this fingers are straight absolutely spine is straight remember in kapalbhati we breathe in and the, it's a stomach which goes in and out deep breath in normal breath out and ready go deep breath in last five four three two one deep breath in and breathe out and chin towards the chest hold your breath no more breathing in and out stomach in squeeze your stomach squeeze your glutes and send all your focus on your glutes five four squeeze three two one release one more set of kapalbhati deep normal breathe in and out ready deep breath in go
Last five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in. Breathe out, going down towards your chest. Chin is touching the chest. No more breathing in and out. Stomach, squeeze it. Spine and the navel are touching each other. And whole focus is on squeezing those glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back up. Agni Sar. Speeding up our metabolism. Lean forward. We are breathing in. Hold the breath and only the stomach goes in and out. We'll be doing 25 of two sets. So lean forward. Normal breath in and out. Now breathe in and hold it. Go. Last five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back. One more time. Deep lean forward, deep breath in. Go. Do not breathe, do not breathe. Last five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back. Anulom Vilom, hold your left nostril. Come to a mudra, the uh, ring finger, the Surya mudra, ring finger touching the base of the thumb and then press it. Finger straight, whichever hand you are doing it, hold the right left nostril. Remember, focus on breathing out. And only thing keeping on doing the japa is om, om, om. Ready? Deep breath in. Lock both the nostrils. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Long. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Long. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Long. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Long. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Long. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Long. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Long. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Long. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Long. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Long. Two more. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Long. Exhale, right. Inhale, right, long. Exhale, left. Inhale, left, long. Last one. Exhale, right. Inhale, right, long. Exhale, left. Keep your eyes closed only. Inhale, left, long. Eyes closed, slowly release. Do not open your eyes. Today's meditation, it's up to you. You want to swing, you want to get into it, but, but you cannot sleep today. You cannot lay down in Savasana. So make sure your spine is straight, eyes are closed. No matter what, do not open up your eyes. And if you want to sing with it, you can sing with it. Concentration is the game. Let's do Om three times. Deep breath in. Oh. 
deep breath in. Oh. Last time, deep breath in. Say to yourself, I am happy today. I am happy today. 
I am happy today. Slowly bring your hands together, cross your fingers and rub your hands and your fingers. Rub, rub together, cross it. Fingers are crossed. It generate heat, generate the pranas. Rub, 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 rub. And slowly bring it over your eyelid, all over your face, your body. Thank your body. Thank you, thank your body for letting you work out, keeping you healthy. Looking down, slowly open up your eyes. And namaste. I hope you like today's workout. And on Wednesday, we are going to do chair and stick workout. So please make sure you have your stick and your and chair. And on Friday, we are going to add weights. So please make sure you have your weights for Friday. Thank you all for joining. Namaste. Bye, everybody. Can everybody see me? Oh, can everybody unmute? I hope everybody got it. Wednesday, it is chair and stick workout. So you make sure you bring a stick and keep a chair close to you. And on Friday, we are going to do weights. Okay, bye everybody. Namaste. Zoom. And then.